Panorama Television is starting a new feature on public art. Today is our very first session about public art located throughout the greater Lacey, Olympia, Tumwater, and Thurston County area. We're very fortunate today to have a resident expert with us. I'd like to introduce Stephanie Johnson. Stephanie works for the City of Olympia. She's with the Parks, Art, and Recreation Department. Yes. I think of her as the Director of Public Art, but what is your... Oh, I actually, I do have a title. It's um, Arts and Events Program Manager for the City of Olympia. Stephanie, we thank you so very much for being with us. The rest of us don't know anything at all about public art, but Stephanie is probably the single most knowledgeable person in town about all of the public art that's available here and how it's been acquired and all of this. This particular statue is called the Kiss, mm -hmm. and I think maybe it's the most well-known piece of public art that we have in the area. What can you tell us about this one, Stephanie? The city acquired uh, the Kiss in 1990. The sculptor is Richard Beyer. Uh, Richard Beyer is actually well known across Washington for his other work, the Waiting for the Inner Urban in Seattle is probably one of his more well-known pieces in Fremont. Uh, he has another piece actually in Olympia, which is at the Dancing Goats uh, Roasting Facility by the Farmer's Market. They actually commissioned a Richard Beyer on their own. Uh, so not a part of the city's collection, but another piece of sculpture in our community. So this piece is, um, it was donated by POSCA, patrons of South Sound Cultural Arts, uh, and that organization is still, uh, is still in existence today, and they primarily provide scholarships for students who want to pursue the arts in college. How long have we had this one? This was commissioned and given to the city in 1990. Uh, so it is constructed of cast aluminum. So it's a very strong material. Uh, the piece is not just the sculpture, but also the railing to the back and the, the extension of the boardwalk at our feet, which means this is a site-specific work. Richard Beyer created this especially for this location. Uh, so we can't just pick it up and move it someplace else. It actually is important. And the reason that it's important is because of the beautiful view of the Olympic Mountains. So it's, um, it's a spectacular view for many people. It's a romantic view, made more romantic now by this sculpture. I know that people come down when they get married uh, and have their photo taken. Uh, occasionally we'll find flowers. You know, our, our parks maintenance staff will find flowers and hats. Um, on the the stat on the statue, and I know of at least one Olympia couple who's made it a tradition to kiss in the same position every time they they happen to walk by. So um, it really is a, a piece of art that's captured the community's imagination and uh, is very interactive in that way. That's a wonderful story. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a phone number over here, seven five three four 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 extension 7080. You can call that phone number and you'll get a recording that gives you specific information about this statue. Is that right? We do that because uh, we lead tours. Um, I have, there's a group of, we call them art ambassadors and every Saturday, July through September, they lead tours of public art along Percival Landing. But not everyone is available at 11 a.m. on Saturday, July through September. So we do, in a few locations, have a telephone number that people can call to get information um, that very moment about, uh, about the sculpture. We're located right here at Percival Landing, which is downtown Olympia. We're only a couple of blocks from the inner city transit bus station. Very, very easy to get here. In Panorama, just take the number 60 bus. If you haven't seen Percival Landing, it's a great place to spend a sunshiny day. Wonderful local restaurants. We have the Olympia Oyster House over here. Further around on Percival Landing is the Dockside Restaurant, Bud Bay Cafe, Anthony's Restaurant. Just a super place to spend a day. We want to move on and see one more statue now. We have moved down the Percival Landing boardwalk about a hundred yards or so to another very famous statue that's part of the 
City of Olympia's art collection. Stephanie, what can you tell us about this one? This piece is entitled Motherhood. It is by the artist Simon Kogan, who lives in Olympia. Um, Simon presented this gift to the city in 1999. Uh, he uh, came to this country from Russia uh, in 1992 and felt very strongly that, that the United States and Olympia in particular had become his homeland. And so this is very representative of a new homeland. The mother, and I don't know if you can see, she is holding a child. Uh, on the other side here is the head of the baby. Here's one foot and the other. It's a bit of an optical illusion because at some angles she looks like she's expecting a child and at other angles she looks like she's carrying a child. But her back is to the water, so she's not traveling, she's not moving, she has found a sense of home. Um, she's not looking off into the distance and leaving. Another interesting thing about this piece being right on the water is this is such a strong vertical element. The mother is basically in a columnar shape with a very closed form. Her arms aren't out. There's not a lot of space in between her arms and her body. Very columnar. Um, it reflects and reiterates the, um, the mass of the ships uh, at dock in the background. Stephanie, thank you very, very much. My wife and I used to have our boat at Martin Marina, which is located just behind us here. So we had the pleasure of watching the installation of motherhood as she was placed here at Percival Landing. We were talking as we walked down here about Percival Landing, the work that the city has done to restore it, and you mentioned a major award that the city had won. Can you tell us just a bit about that? Sure. Uh, in 2010, 2010, uh, Percival Landing, specifically the area that uh, has been re uh, restored or, or reconstructed, won uh, the American uh, Best Places Award from the American Planning Association. And the year we won the award in 2010, there were, um, I, I believe, 10 other locations across the country that received the award. One was the Seattle, or one was the, I'm sorry, the Ferry Building in San Francisco on the waterfront. And another one was the Boston Common. So two very important places. So it's, um, it's, uh, it was quite an honor to be in that list of names for this award. Yes, thank you. A real tribute to Olympia. If you haven't spent time down here, you just really need to treat yourself by doing that. The Olympia Farmers Market is over here, just another block. So you have produce from local farmers, you had arts and crafts that's available, there are local eateries that have food available, and they constantly have entertainment on their stage at the Olympia Farmers Market. So it's just a wonderful place to spend some time. Stephanie, thank you very much for introducing us, and we will uh, be spending more time later on looking at other works of public art. Thank you. We are now standing in front of the new Lot Water Reclamation Center. Lot is the sewer treatment facility for this local community. Lot stands for Lacey, Olympia, Tumwater, and Thurston. And what you see here is the bucket of water and the pool around the bucket of water. And this is all reclaimed water from the sewage treatment process. It's brand new and kind of an exciting project that the city has put together. We're only about four or five blocks from Percival Landing in the Farmer's Market and the Inner City Transit Center. But this was such an attractive and new and exciting kind of project, we wanted to share it with you. 